JMix is a set of high-level libraries and development tools aimed at the fast development of business applications. JMix comprises a core open source framework, a specialized IDE called Studio, and a set of add-ons that provide ready-to-use functionality. The framework is built on top of Spring and other mainstream Java technologies. With JMix, you can use Java or Kotlin as a single language for business logic and web UI development. JMix Studio is a plugin for IntelliJ IDEA that helps in configuring a project, developing a data model and UI in visual designers, and generating database versioning scripts. It also provides advanced navigation and coding assistance specific to JMix projects. JMix add-ons are optional modules designed for solving typical system and business tasks, from data audit and emailing to report generation and business process management. JMix is specifically designed for building back-office web applications with large data models, complex user interfaces, and robust transactional business logic. It's also a great choice for creating a back-end with an administrative UI for front-office web or mobile applications. JMix is especially useful when the application requires complex data access control, report generation, or business process execution. Let's take a closer look at the architecture of a JMix application. Any JMix application contains a number of JMix core components that, in turn, use Spring Boot, Eclipse Link, Vauden, and other underlying technologies. JMix add-ons can be included in the application on demand to provide ready-to-use functionality. JMix provides its high-level API but doesn't isolate developers from underlying technologies. They can be used directly from the application code when needed. In the simplest case, a JMix application is deployed as a monolithic Java web application and is connected to a relational database. The application can use any number of additional data stores represented by databases or external APIs. Files can be uploaded to a separate file storage on a file system or in the cloud. The Search add-on integrates Elasticsearch for full-text search through the application data and uploaded files. An external OpenID Connect server like Keycloak can be used for external authentication and single sign-on. Alternatively, a JMix application can connect to an LDAP service like Active Directory to authenticate users and get their permissions. A separate front-end application can connect with the JMix back-end through the JMix REST API or by creating custom API endpoints. Now let's look at the key steps involved in developing an application with JMix. First, Studio helps you to create and set up a new project. You can select a template for it. Java or Kotlin application, add-on, REST service application, and so on. Then you can create your data model entities using the Visual Designer. The designers in Studio work directly with the source code. You can write code manually and Studio will parse and display it in the designer. Alternatively, you can generate the data model and UI directly from an existing database. As you work on your data model, Studio keeps track of the differences between the model and the database schema. When you create or modify entities, it automatically generates the Liquibase change logs required to update the database. On the next step, you can use templates to generate UI for your entities, providing basic create, read, update, and delete functionality. You can customize the UI as needed. For example, let's look at how to add a dependent table showing a list of users for a selected department. First, just add a data grid displaying all users. Changes in UI are hot deployed to the running application, so you don't have to rebuild and restart the project. Now add a parameter to the query to load only users of a selected department. Select the department as a condition attribute and the container for the currently selected department as a parameter. You can see the list of users working in the selected department. The business logic of an application should be implemented in Spring Beans. Let's create a new bean and declare a method in it to notify users in the department about overdue. Further, you can easily invoke Spring Beans from UI. 
Let's add a new button to the Buttons panel. Specify its ID and text that will be displayed. Finally, generate a click event handler. In the method, inject the table component via convenient UI. We'll invoke our business operation only when the user has selected a department. You can inject the spring beans in the same way. Finally, pass the selected entity to it. You can easily debug the UI and business logic code because they both work in the same JVM. User roles are defined in the project by annotated Java interfaces. Studio provides a visual designer for editing the role interface. Roles can also be created at runtime and stored in the database. Specify its name, code, and select required policies. Users can have multiple resource and role level roles. Let's assign HR manager roles to Alice. Now we can log in under Alice's account and verify that only allowed screens and data are available. JMix add-ons can be installed right from the studio. Add-ons allow you to extend application functionality without reinventing the wheel. For example, we can add audit functionality to our app in a few clicks. The new menu section is available now with all the required options. Thanks to Spring Boot, JMix applications are easy to build and run as executable jars. To build the application, simply use the well-known Gradle command. Once it's built, run it and follow the link that appears in the console. Creating WAR files and Docker images is also straightforward. In summary, JMix is a powerful and flexible tool for building back office web applications, and JMix Studio helps to streamline the development process. Whether you're a seasoned enterprise developer or just starting out, JMix is worth exploring for your next project.